Okay, so we're going to go off and visit the children's godparents, help them celebrate their early retirement. Um, we're down on the south coast near Bournemouth, so it's cross country to Ringwood, up to Salisbury, and then over Salisbury Plain up to Chippenham, and our destination's on the north side of Chippenham. Um, so it's about 60 miles there, it's 60 miles back again, probably end up doing some local driving. Um, so there's no motorways involved, the vast majority of the roads are 40 to 50 mile an hour speed limits, and uh, normally um, fairly busy so not much uh, opportunity to put your foot down so I just thought out of curiosity let's have a look at efficiency on the e-tron on that kind of trip. Okay, so this is uh, Salisbury Plain on our way up towards uh, Chippenham um, hopefully you'll be able to see some of the lovely green countryside here rather than just the reflection in my ball patch as I, uh, as I drive my son's out right behind me he's got the camera at the moment. So when we set out um, the uh, the nav system uh, decided it uh, wanted to apply new settings um, and when it did that it uh, dumped the sat nav destination which we had to put back in a second time and then uh, there was, the heating fan was roaring away and doing some odd things and then I realised that when I looked at the uh, rear heating control and this has got the four zone heating option on it um, half the controls are missing so the, uh, the fix on that is to uh, press and hold the, uh, the MMI on off button for about 10 seconds, reboots the whole thing and then we're able to get it all uh, working normally. Uh, but I had to put the sound destination in once again. Uh, anyway, um, up towards Salisbury we were holding 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour, it's now sat at 2.8, it's refusing to go above 3. Um, I have seen it up above there but only with the help of coming down a mountain. Um, but uh, the traffic is quiet and we are doing 60 mile an hour. Uh, where permitted and that is an awful lot of this journey it's also quite hilly quite windy road as well uh, mode wise for the car um, there's a couple of modes that take the car lower which is better for aerodynamics uh, one is efficiency and the other is dynamic and uh, they tend to make the suspension fairly firm um, and it thuds a bit more over the bumps and the potholes so um, at the other end of the scale there's a uh, comfort mode which raises the car softens the uh, throttle response, softens the suspension and uh, gives you a very nice ride. But between the two there's a mode called automatic. As far as I know there's nothing automatic about it. All the modes lower the car's suspension at high speed uh, but it does seem to just be a nice balance between a sort of a wallowy comfort, comfort ride and a firm ride uh, that's a bit sporty. Um, the other thing is the regen. I've left that in automatic and uh, it tends to coast when I lift off, um, which Audi tell me is quite efficient according to the manual. Um, but I have got the paddles, so if I need to put a little bit of braking in, uh, I can do that automatically. Uh, well, I'll do that manually rather with the paddles. It will happen automatically if it knows I'm catching up with the car in front or there's a roundabout or a lower speed limit ahead of me. So if I lift off under those circumstances, it does give me regen braking. Uh, the other thing I've done. Um, which isn't normal for me to have to do, but um, on windy country roads, the lane keep assist interferes uh, too much for my liking. It's really good on the motorway. It's not active in town, but on a country road, it does kind of cut in when you don't want it to. Um, and it does kind of feel like someone's grabbing the steering and, and that. Keeps you safe, keeps you in the middle of the lane, but it's just not that nice to use. So uh, one press of the button on the end of the indicator stalk turns that off and uh, it's just behaving like a normal car at the moment. So we're sticking with the speed limits. We're doing um, 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour at the moment and we've got about 45 minutes to go. Okay, just coming up to our friends, it's just a couple of miles up the road, just uh, I've just running to buy some flowers for them, um, just as a nice touch. Uh, so just a little update on the journey so far. Uh, just under two hours on the road, 63 miles covered. Um, the range has dropped from 170 down to 123, uh, which is a drop of only 47. So um, the car is outperforming its predictions based on recent local driving. And it is actually showing me three miles per kilowatt hour. Just clicked up for the first time as we pulled in here. I'm sure it's going to drop back down to 2.9 just to annoy me um, shortly. But, uh, but it's not doing too bad. And I've used a quarter of a battery on 62 miles. So uh, a full charge... Uh, with that, that would be 250 miles uh, range. It is 19 degrees outside, it's a nice day, and the air conditioning is on in auto mode. Uh, I've not been trying to hypermile it, I've not been really pushing for range, I'm not using efficiency mode, 
I'm just driving because I like driving and it's a nice comfy car.